Good morning. I'm here in the Richland County Fairgrounds. It uh, is in Mansfield, Ohio. I'm on my way to Pennsylvania eventually. I'll just spend a month, month and a half with my son and daughter-in-law and uh, grandchildren. And on my way there, back from uh, back from Hudsonville, or from Grand Rapids, I guess, it's probably the closest big city in uh, Michigan. Uh, since it's summertime, it's not easy to find, it's not easy to find uh, camping spaces that are available on the weekend here in the, in the east, uh, Midwest and, and east. At least that's been my experience. And as a result, uh, about the only place I could find that was really fairly inexpensive was fairground. Haven't been in a fairground since uh, Sedalia, Missouri, where I was with the escapees, their national uh, get-together. And I wasn't very impressed with it because of the, you know, the cramped conditions and the inability to use some of the, uh, the facilities as far as water and electric. And well, I got water and electric, did not get sewage, not get a sewer hookup. But in any event, um, this is a 30 amp hookup, and uh, the advantage is price and you can, I'm going to pan around here. You can see this is just wide open space. There is all kinds of available uh, uh, sites here. There was a uh, horse show over the weekend, and that uh, the park filled up. Uh, wasn't full by any stretch of the imagination, but became a lot more active. And one of the disadvantages is beautiful as beautiful as the horses were. Uh, somebody like me, man, I sure wasn't used to the odor, and uh, I didn't like that at all. As a matter of fact, this is Monday morning, and it's been like 24 hours since the show is over. And most people have pulled out, and it still smells. So, uh, anyway, I'm sure as, as time goes on, uh, that'll dissipate. I'm going to be here through uh, part of the weekend and taking off for the Pittsburgh area. Uh, Sunday morning. Today, however, what I'm planning on doing is uh, kind of a morbid thing. I uh, am going to go down to uh, the tomb of President McKinley in Canton, Ohio, which is not too very far from here. I understand it's fairly nice, and I also understand there's a car museum down there. Not a big one, but a car museum, and it might be a lot of fun to take a look at. So that's where we're headed, and I thought I'd just give you a little preview. So hang in there, and uh, we're off to see uh, Canton. Okay, so what I've been given to understand as I'm here at the monument is that McKinley was a hugely popular president and uh, largely due to his foreign policy. Uh, he had just won re-election and uh, by a broader margin than he did when he, when he was elected the first time. And he had gone to Buffalo, New York. There was a large exposition there 
uh, kind of like a World's Fair, I guess, precursor to the World's Fair in, Bu in Buffalo, New York. And he had gone there to make a speech. And um, it was in the Temple to Music, I think it was called, where he was in the receiving line. And back in the day, um, Secret Service and surrounding the president in fear for his life um, apparently didn't cause as great a concern as it does today. But in any event, Leon, uh, I think it's Chogos, was his last name. Leon Cholgos uh, had his, his gun. He bought a, a revolver, wrapped it in a white uh, kerchief kind of thing as though his hand were bandaged, and went through the receiving line and, and at point blank range shot the president twice, and he died, uh, I believe, eight days later. Um, so it's a tragic, tragic story. I think it shocked the nation in that between Abraham Lincoln, uh, Garfield, and um, uh, and McKinley, in the space of 40 years, three assassinated presidents shook the country to its to its foundation. Garfield's uh, remains are in um, Westlake, Ohio, which is also not too far from here. So I plan on doing that another day to, to head up there. Uh, I just learned this fact too. This is kind of interesting that Ohio has the third is ranks third in states as far as uh, presidents are concerned. And I would have thought maybe Massachusetts would be way up there um, since they have a, a lot of, it seems, notoriety in my mind. Anyhow, uh, first is, let's see if I can get this right now. First was Virginia, and I can certainly understand that in that the early days of the country, many of our first presidents were Virginians. And then behind that is New York State, followed by Ohio. So Ohio is uh, a place that has, has uh, nurtured and uh, been a home to many of the presidents. I believe it is five, five U.S. presidents. Uh, seven, I believe, for Virginia, and then um, New York with six and Ohio with five, I think. Don't quote me on that. So anyway, great day. It turned out to be beautiful. The sun came out, so I hope that this uh, video is, is uh, informative and, and fun for you. So take care and we'll talk. I'm going to head out from here to a car museum if I can find it. I understand it's fairly small, but it's supposed to be pretty interesting too. So we'll take a look at that. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.
That's when I